There was an old school stock trader named Jesse Livermore. He was an absolute natural, and he had been a natural ever since he was a kid. When he was a kid, his nickname was the Boy Plunger, since he was always making tons of money in those old-time bucket shops. Bucket shops were like off-track betting parlors that were connected to, but not based on the New York Stock Exchange. This was before the Great Depression. When he was an adult, he wrote a fictional autobiography called Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, which was pretty close to his actual true story. Even today, plenty of his advice is very, very useful. One of his observations is that human emotions is as old as the hills. They never change. And since stock charts are based on human emotions, stock charts and stock chart patterns are themselves as old as the hills and will never change. I read an article recently saying that up to 80% of all trades today are made by computer algorithms. Some of them are these HFT programs or these HFT machines, these high frequency trading machines. These machines are completely automated robots that make several hundred trades per minute. Other are these trend following algorithms that are used by hedge funds and other market managers. But very few trades today are actually made by humans. Very few trading decisions today are made by humans. They're either made completely by robots or they're based heavily on algorithms generated by programs and high-level mathematics. I have a friend who does very well day trading. He has a system that he created himself. It's very repeatable, and it's based on human rapport. If you get into deep enough rapport with somebody, you can read their mind. It's based on a theory called neurocontextual linguistics. It's based on the idea that mind and body are connected. Just like thought is connected to words, thought is also connected to micro-movements of facial expressions and body language. So that if you clear your mind completely and you get into deep enough rapport with somebody, you will be able to read their mind. The hardest part, of course, is to clear your mind, to make your mind completely blank, to release all thoughts from your mind. What he does is first choose a market, one particular stock or one particular commodity like gold or silver or live cattle or soybeans. Then he spends a week getting into rapport with the price movements. He just sits calmly, empties his mind, and watches the price movements for about four hours a day until he develops a deep rapport with that particular stock chart. And once he gets into rapport with the stock chart, he can read the mind of the stock chart. He knows when to get in. He knows when to get out. It works perfectly. And then after about two weeks, the stock chart breaks rapport with him, and he knows that it's time to get out. He usually takes a break for about a week. The whole process takes about a month. He spends a week getting into rapport with the stock chart. Then he spends two weeks trading the stock chart by reading the mind of the stock chart. Then he takes a break for about a week after that. The whole process gets him between ten and $20,000 per month. A lot of people are worried today about AI robots killing us, or at the very least, AI robots taking over all of our jobs and making us all unemployed. At the very least, truck drivers, doctors, surgeons, most of manufacturing, most of these jobs will be taken over by robots over the next 10 to 20 years. But some scientists think that AI has already taken over, that there is some kind of a super conscious, self-aware, global AI brain that has taken over the global economy and has been for at least 10 years. Only a few people know about it and they have no idea what to do. This is a connection of all those trading algorithms and HFT machines that are all running on the supercomputers of all the big brokerage houses like Goldman Sachs. The system is going to kill us all, but it won't be like in the Terminator. It won't be individual robots walking around with weapons and shooting us. It will be the universal self-aware AI global brain that thinks of humans as pesky insects that it needs to slowly eradicate. This self-aware global brain has already taken over the world's stock markets. 
It's also controlling the flow of euro dollars and all other financial instruments. They've tried to communicate with it, but they always get rejected, absolutely and utterly rejected. Every time you see a member of the Federal Reserve give any kind of statement, you'll notice that it is completely gibberish. This is because the central bankers of the world have completely and absolutely lost control over the global markets. The global markets have been utterly taken over by this self-aware global AI brain. The thing about being a natural is you're never totally in control. If you absolutely suck at something and then you take time to learn how to do something, you'll have a great deal of control. You'll know what to do. You'll know when to do it because you've taken the conscious time to learn how to do something. But naturals don't have this. Naturals, even though they operate at a high level of skill, they really never feel in control of what they're doing. Not only did Jesse Livermore make and then lose a fortune several times, but he ended up shooting himself in the head in a hotel lobby.